Food and medicine is a very important method of manipulation. They're in quotes here because they're anything but foods or medicines. They're actually poisons. We're being poisoned uh, at the level of what we take into our body through our foods. Foods are sprayed with pesticides. They are, uh, there are uh, chemical fertilizers in the soils that they're grown. They're genetically modified foods that are causing all kinds of health problems and not uh, giving us the nutrients that we need in our diet. The fast food and sugar and carb-based diet that we see in fast food uh, chains throughout the United States and through the chemical processed foods that are uh, pump, being pumped into our supermarkets. Um, factory farming systems too, in which animals go through absolutely incredible amounts of suffering and are treated in horrifically inhumane ways. And then we're consuming that energy. Uh, so many different aspects of food. What's coming up with Codex Alimentarius to make nutritional su supplements, drugs, and then to more tightly control them. Could do a whole presentation in and of itself in what is going on in our food. But the flip side of, of uh, all the negative things that are uh, taking place with what uh, are, is being pumped into us through the Western diet is uh, uh, the, the unnecessary application of uh, uh, food, uh, I'm sorry, of, of medications and surgery. Uh, the Western medical view of the world that the body is simply a machine is um, a horribly left-brained approach to whole, uh, uh, holistic wellness, to health. And uh, they want us to see ourselves as needing their uh, solutions for well-being, like drugs, like pharmaceuticals. Pharmaceuticals aren't what create health. Uh, health is created on a number of different levels through how we think, what we put into our body, what we pay attention to, how we react to stressful situations. It is not created by pharmaceuticals. These are tre treatment of the symptoms, not addressing the root causes of dis-ease. So the medical community simply wants to keep this going by selling us unnecessary drugs and surgery because that is their product. They are in operation as long as they are selling us drugs and surgery. Most individuals in these jobs don't really, down deep, want to create wellness. They want people, at the highest levels, they want people sick. It's knowingly put into effect. They want people sick because that's how they stay in business, by having sick people. They gauge their success by how many people are ill and that we're treating. That's not a measure of success measure of success in any kind of true medicinal field would be how many people are well and don't need, don't need to be treated because they're in good health. So HMOs propagate this because they're just about profits and they're not really out there to help people. They're out there to make as much profit as possible. They're answerable to their shareholders uh, to, uh, for, for profit above all else. The medical community goes along with this because they want to stay in operation and have uh, a, a, an ever-flowing clientele and sell people unnecessary drugs and surgery. Vaccinations are a part of this, uh, often a, a deadly cocktail of chemicals. Who knows what are in some of them? Uh, not as much research as needs to be done has been done on a lot of these vaccinations. And um, you're seeing all kinds of um, unforeseen side effects through the vaccination of, of our children. And then this brings me to the uh, often what can be the most harmful substances that one can put into their body, the antidepressant series of drugs, SSRIs, which stands for Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors. These lock serotonin in the neural pathways between synaptic clefts, uh, and, and oftentimes because this serotonin cannot be reuptaken into the, the, the brain chemistry, it will start to bond in place uh, in, in between uh, those, uh, those um, um, the, the neurotransmitter will bond in place in the, uh, uh, in the synapses. And this can cut people off from certain emotions and certain levels of consciousness and certain ways of 
opening up their mind, expanding their consciousness, and seeing things in a new light. This is a, a scientifically engineered way of keeping people at a very specific level of consciousness and a very specific level of feeling the emotions that they're experiencing and often not feeling them at all. Some, some people report that these uh, substances make you, you incapable of feeling certain types of emotions and that's why I would say they're extraordinarily dangerous to be messing with because uh, and they're absolutely overprescribed as well. But uh, they're dangerous to be taking and messing with because anything that really permanently affects serotonin levels I would view as a dangerous compound to put into the body. We are meant to feel certain emotions because our emotions are our compass for our moral direction in life. You start to play the numbing out of emotions game and you're, you're heading on a very slippery path to into robot consciousness, let's put it that way. So that's my take on SSRIs. I call them the demon drugs, a class of demonic compounds, uh, very, very much against their, their use and over prescription.